Okay, hello Powell family and welcome to Powell Sculpt. You do need some equipment today. You need a set of gliders and a yoga stretch. If you don't have gliders at home, no problem. If you're on carpet, paper plates work great. If you're on a hard service, towels work great. Uh, if you don't have a strap at home, a woven belt works just as good. Uh, so just make sure you have those things handy and then we are actually gonna warm up in tabletop position. So go ahead and meet me on hands and knees. We have a pretty intense warm up. We're gonna be in this beast for the whole song. So tuck those toes under. We're gonna float the knees just one or two inches from the floor and hold. Make sure the shoulders are down away from the ears. You're pulling your belly button forward just fine to brace for your core. Make sure the knees are directly underneath those hips. So we wanna make sure the hips aren't behind the knees or in front of the knees, but right over. Shoulders stacked right over the wrist. Stay with your breath. We're gonna sit the hips back towards the heels as the elbows drop towards the mat and then come up onto all fours. So tricep drop, shifting the weight forward and back. The knees still hover the floor. So we're still really into these quadriceps. So make sure we're not like hiking the legs up or straightening them. They're still staying in that hover. We're just focusing on dropping those triceps, those elbows towards the floor, and then bringing it right back up. Nice job. Stay really strong and grounded through the hands. Just a couple more here. And then hold in that beast. We're not out of it yet. We're gonna kick the right leg back and then bring it back underneath the hip. Kick the left leg back and then bring it right back to that tabletop. So keep that core really strong. Nice flat back. Really strong through the glutes, through the quads. Pressing that floor away. Keeping those knees just hovering the mat. Nice job. Avoid shrugging the shoulders. I know it can be a lot. Make sure those knees are right under the hips so the booty's not above the chest. Your tailbone and your shoulder blades should be in the same line. Booty down. Come back through center hold, shoulder tap side to side. Brace to the core so we're not wiggling too much side to side. Really, really strong in this tabletop position. Come back through center hold. We step back to plank, back to plank. Walk the foot in, walk the foot in, switch lead leg. We're almost there, stay with me. Keep that core really strong. Upper body really strong. Last two. Drop those knees, come all the way onto your back. Pull the right knee into the chest, keep your left leg long, pull it in twice and then big switch. Single leg stretch. Upper body's off the mat, so we're in this upper ab crunch hold. Use your hands to keep the leg within the hip frame, within the shoulder frame of the body. Make sure the knee's not like going out to the side. Keep that low butt grounded into the earth and focus on your breath. Single leg stretch, you got it. If this is plenty challenging, feel free to stay here. If you can, we'll pull both knees in and then extend everything out. Pull them in for two and then extend it out. Keep that low back nice and grounded, really strong through your core. Exhale as you pull in, inhale as we extend. You got it, Pellwell family, come on. Stay with it, really strong through the core. One more. The next time we kick out both legs, hold. Double leg lift, hands come behind the head. 
We lift and lower both legs together, straight legs. Really, really strong through our entire core. Let those heels drop, basic crunch. We're doing these teeny tiny little pulses so your upper body stays off the mat. We're not coming all the way down. We just have these little one to two inch pulses. Stay with it, stay with it. Stay for five, four, three, two. Hold at the top and zip those inner thighs together. Double leg lift and lower. Nice job, stay with it. Stay with your breath. Keep that low back nice and grounded into the earth. Drop those heels one more time, basic crunch to finish. Make sure we're not pulling on the head, we're using those upper abs. Five, four, three, two, one, and release. Go ahead and bring it up. We're gonna come onto one side. So we're gonna start kind of in a modified side plank. So starting on the knees, we're gonna let the left hand come towards the earth. We're gonna extend our right leg. So we're in a side plank on our left side, left hand on the floor, left leg on the floor. Right hand to your right hip, and then just lift and lower this right leg. So you're pulling up through these obliques to lift up off that floor. And then we're keeping our um, hips and our chest square to the front. So make sure we're not closing towards the floor. Flex that right foot. Hold, we're gonna sweep front to back. So stay really strong and stable here. Stay within your range of motion so we're not like clenching the upper body and then extending it. Nothing's moving except this leg. Your right leg is on top, your left leg is on bottom. Little sweep. Final three, two. Bend your right leg so it matches the left. We're gonna drop the hip, lift the hip. Little clamshell bridges, down and up. If it gets to be too much on the hand, feel free to come onto the forearm but I want you to still focus on lifting up through those obliques. So we're not letting the hips and the shoulders sink towards the left. We're still lifting up and away from the floor. We're gonna add a little leg lift. So we bridge up, kick the leg out and back down. Bridge up, kick it out and back down. Stay really strong here. Really focusing on the outside of those hips, on the oblique. Come onto that forearm, hold the clam bridge, and just extend, curl, and lower. So kick, spin that leg back in, and then bring those knees back together. Woo! You should feel both outside hips like crazy. Hold your bridge. We're not lowering and lifting the hips anymore. We're just kicking that leg out and bringing it back together. We're holding our bridge. So this bottom hip is fired up like crazy to support us. Nice job. I know it's a lot. My arms are really tired. <laughs> Keep your core really braced. We have three more here. Two more. Last one, stack those legs lower and lift your bridges only. So we're pulling up the obliques and the hips away from the floor. So we're really strong through the outside of that hip. Focusing on the outside of your tush. Yes, you got it, stay with it. For five, four, three, two. Hold at the top for the finish. Make sure we're not closing towards the floor. Keep opening up, stacking chest, stacking hips. 
three, two, release. We're bringing it up, grab your gliding disc. We're staying on the right side. So your right foot stays on the floor. The gliding disc goes under your left foot. So we're still targeting that right side. Go ahead and grab your strap. You're gonna double it up, and then we're gonna pull on it so there's no slack. So gliding lunges to start. As you glide down, the arms raise up, and then everything pulls back as we stand back up. We glide, arms raise, leg extends, we bring everything back in. Make sure your right foot is on the floor, your left foot is on the glider. We wanna make sure we're staying on the same side. We're still building on that fatigue to the right. Every song is a new muscle movement. So for this whole song, this is what we're focusing on, these lunges and these arm raises. I need to make sure you're not lazy in this strap. It's not like <laughs> hanging out in the middle. You are pulling that strap apart, really active through your shoulders and upper back. Avoid shrugging and rounding here. We wanna pull the shoulder blades together and then down away from the ear. Hold your lunge at the bottom, arms stay up. We're just gonna lower the arms two inches as we glide the foot in and then lift. So we're holding the bottom of the lunge on the right leg. Left leg is gliding in and out. And then we just have this little tiny pulse in the arm. Shoulders should be fired up like crazy. Outside the right push, right leg, everything's working really hard. You're really strong through this right side. There's very little weight in that left leg. Stay nice and deep into this lunge. You got it, stay with it, stay with it. Hold that leg in, hold the arms, and we just pulse towards the floor. Really firing up that right leg. Very little weight in that left leg. Five, four, three, root to rise all the way up. Bring the left knee to the chest, find your balance. We kick it back, single leg deadlift. Use your strap, pull it apart, pull it apart, pull it apart. Brace through your core. Firing up that posterior chain on the right side. Low and steady. You got it, Pell Well family, come on. Stay really strong, really stable through this right leg. Drive through the heel of the left. Release that left foot back towards the glider. We glide out and back in those lunges from the top. Make sure you're not getting lazy in the arms. There should be no slack on that strap. Pull the shoulders down away from the ear. Hold at the bottom with that little arm pulse with that leg drag. Pull that strap apart. Woo, sink even deeper into that right leg. Let's burn out this right leg. Hold the feet together, hold that strap, pull it apart, pull, pull. Stay with it. Three, two, find that balance. We finish those single leg deadlifts. Three of them. Find your balance, your stability. Ground that right foot into the earth. Last one here. And release it. Your palms off to the side. Get me back on your back. We're gonna have that ab sequence once more. Pull the right knee into the chest. Extend your left leg out. Pull it in for two. Lift. Ground that low back into the earth. Giving the legs and the arms a little break, moving back to the core. Chin to chest. Really strong and active for the upper abs.
hold, pull both knees in, extend everything out. Both knees in, extend everything out. You got it. So I need you to really make sure here that that low back is grounded. You should not be able to slide your hands underneath your low back. If you can, you have that little arc. I need you to tilt your pelvis and your hips towards the body. So you're really grounding that low back into the earth, protecting it. So you only feel it in the abs. Stay with it. Get ready for those double leg extensions. Hold everything out, hands behind the head. Lift and lower both legs together. Keep that low back grounded the whole time. As you lower the legs, if you notice, the low back starts to lift to shorten your range of motion. You don't have to take the legs all the way to the floor. If you come halfway down and the low back starts to lift, that's your full range of motion. Stay within your body's range of motion. You got it. Inhale as we lower, exhale as we lift. Nice job. Let those heels drop, crunches, let's go. Really strong through your core. Ground that low back, breathe. Little tiny pulses. Hold at the top, single leg stretch. One knee at a time. Pull it in for two and then exchange. Keep those knees in the line of the body. Use your hands to make sure that happens. Final three, two, one more, we go into those doubles. Both knees in, and then everything kicks out. Inhale, extend, exhale, contract. legs out, hands behind the head, double leg lift and lower. Let those heels melt all the way towards the earth, basic crunch. Hold at the top, roll it all the way up, cross onto those legs. We have just a few push ups for this song, and then we're gonna move into the left side for the leg and the outside of the hip. So bring those heels towards the tush, make sure you're in this modified plank. Take a nice deep breath in. Eccentric, so we'll go three counts down, one count up. So it's slow, 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 big push back up. One, two, Three, big push back up. Shoulders down away from the ears. Core is really strong and brace. Really strong through that upper body. You got it, come on. Stay with it. Final three, final two, one more. Real quick, keep the heels up, just sit everything back, proud toes. Just hinging from those hips. Take another deep breath. Come all the way back through. We come halfway down. We come up two inches, back halfway down all the way up. Halfway down, up two inches, halfway down, back up. So you have these, these little tiny pulse push-ups 
at the, at the mid range. So it should be really, really hard once you get halfway down. So halfway down, little tiny lift, back down, all the way up. So really, really strong and stable through this upper body. Halfway, two inches up, two inches down, back up. Two more just like that. Let's finish this strong. Halfway, little up, little down, all the way up. Final one, halfway, little up, little down, all the way up, sit back, child's pose, nice job. That should have been pretty hard. We're gonna come onto the opposite side now. You can stay on the hand or we lower onto that forearm. Start on the knee, we lift up, hand or forearm comes right underneath the shoulder. Right arm down, right leg down, left leg up. So left leg lift and lower. Little left leg lift and lower. You got it, stay with it. We're gonna go right into those sweeps. So it's really easy to kind of rotate and let the chest and the hips kind of fall through the floor. You need to really press to the bottom hip, keep the obliques really strong and open up towards the front. Hold, flex the foot, sweep front to back. Again, make sure we're not moving this upper body. We're not like crunching and extending. Nothing is moving except the legs. Keep pulling those obliques up. The more tired we get to, the more that hip's gonna start to melt down. We're gonna feel that shrugging through that bottom shoulder. So I need you to ground yourself up and away. Stay really strong. We're gonna bend and drop those knees together. Just clamshell bridges up and down. Keep the chest and the hips open. Stacking one on top of the other. We're lifting the obliques and the hip up and away from the floor. Really strong through your right hip and that left glute. You got it, stay with it. Keep lifting and lowering. I know that it's a struggle, it's hard. We had that little break though, we didn't have to do it back to back. <laughs> We're gonna add that little tiny kick. So we have the bridge, the kick, knees come back together and we lower. So it looks like this. We're up, we kick, bring it back in, lower all the way down. Up, kick, bring it back in, knees come together, tips lower. So it's a big compound exercise. We lift, we extend, we bend together and lower. So all these muscles are working in unison to find this flow. So even though it's technically four individual moves, try to make it seamless. So we flow, we extend, we bend, and we lower. We lift, extend, bend, and lower. Make it this seamless flow here. Really build that strength and that stamina. Keep focusing on your bottom oblique. So even though we're focusing on the left glute, we want those right obliques to be what stabilize and what pull us up and away from the floor. Stack those knees, keep your bridge up. We're just kick and bring it in. So no more lowering and lifting the hips. We're holding the bridge and we just find that little kick and we bring it back in. Kick and bring it back in. Yes, that's it, beautiful job. Stay with it. Open up that chest, keep those hips nice and square to the front. Beautiful job, Powell family. Stay with it. Keep pulling up to those obliques. Make sure we're not shrugging that shoulder down. All we have after this are the, the little bridges in that hold. Stay with it, stay with it. Almost there. Three, two. Stack those knees, lower and lift, bridges only, no kick. Keep the chest and the hips open. You're gonna get tired and you're gonna wanna slowly rotate towards the floor. I need you to keep opening that chest. One chest right on top of the other, one hip right on top of the other. And then we hold it up to finish. Stay, stay, stay. Breathe. 10 seconds, you're almost there. Stay with it. Lift those hips just a little higher. Three, two, and release. Awesome job. All right, we're bringing it back up to standing. You need your strap and your glider. Same sequence we did on the other leg. This time we have our left foot on the floor. 
our right foot on the glider. Strap is doubled up, so it's half the length. And then we make sure there's no, um, whatever this is in the middle, we're holding all that tension there. So ground through that left foot, very little weight in that right foot. Start with the strap at your hips, pull on it. And then we slide back, we pull the band forward, and then we pull everything back through the center, through the midline. So we're really strong through that left leg. We're using your left leg to push the right leg back and pull it in. So we fire up through that quadricep, push the right leg back, and then we fire up through this hamstring to pull the right leg back. So your left leg is really the only thing that's working. We have very little weight in that right leg. Keep pulling on that strap so the shoulders are really active here. Stay with it. Keep using my phone as a timer on the music playlist and then it keeps going black on me. We're gonna hold it down. We have that little arm pulse and the gliding in and out. So hold your lunge. The arms just lift and lower like three inches. But that right leg glides all the way in, all the way out. All the way in, all the way out. Stay really deep in this left leg. So we're not standing at any point. We're holding the bottom of that lunge. We're keeping 90% of the weight in that leg. So even if we didn't have a glider, we should still be able to move freely this right leg because we're so grounded and strong through this left. Little tiny pulses to the arm. Make sure we're bracing through the core too. We don't want to pop that ribcage open and feel this in the low back. Stay really, really strong. Hold the foot in, hold the arms out, pulses towards the floor with the legs only. Pull on that strap. You're literally trying to tear it in half. Relax the shoulders down away from the ears. We pack the shoulder blades together. Really strong through the whole shoulder girdle. Four, three, two, pick everything up. Single leg deadlift, find your balance, your stability. Super, super slow, strong, stable, controlled. Breathe. Ground the whole left foot into the earth. You should feel that booty and that hamstring like crazy. You got it. Come on, Pella family. Final one. We're going to put that right foot back on the glider. Strap comes towards the hips. Gliding lunges. Let's go. Keep pulling on that strap. Pull it apart. Get really strong. Losing my balance. <laughs> really strong through those shoulders. If you're doing the strap right, your upper body should feel this as much as that leg because we are so strong in this upper body stability. Just make sure when the shoulders get tired, you don't start to shrug. Keep softening them down away from the ears. And then the next part is make sure we don't round. Keep retracting those shoulder blades towards one another. Hold the arms out, hold the leg back. Little pulse through the arms, and the leg glides in and out as we hold this single leg lunge on the left. Keep pulling that strap apart. Retract the shoulders, relax the shoulders. Really, really strong here, stay with it. Woo! Your left leg and your upper body should be screaming. Stay with it, stay with it. Ooh. Ah. Slide that leg in, hold, hold that strap, pull it apart, pulse down. Five, retract those shoulders together. Three, two, everything up. Three single leg deadlifts to finish. Slow, strong, steady, controlled. Two more. You should feel that burn in the muscles. That's what that toning and sculpting is all about. Oh, and release. Woo! Check it out. We have one and one only little cardio push. We start in our plie squat. The song was chose for you. Get us moving. 
<sighs> so turn those feet out. Plie squats to start. Down and up. Right into it. Let's go. So it's going to be progressive. We have regular sumo or plie squats. We're going to go into plie jack and then jumping jack. So the efforts get more and more intense and we keep digressing to recover. All right, let's take it into those jacks. Hands to the floor, hop those heels together, let's go. One and one only cardio push. So I need everything you got right now, come on. All right, so we're still focusing on the squats. So make sure we're not folding forward. If it helps, keep your gaze up. If you look up, your chest will stay up. If you look down, we tend to fold over. So we're sinking really deep into those legs. We're reaching for the floor. We explode from the floor, hop those feet together, and we land in the squat. So this is so much push, inner thighs, outer thighs. Get ready, those jacks are coming. Regular jumping jacks. Keep firing up those legs. Get that heart rate up. Five, four, three, two, jacks, let's go. All right, this is your big cardio push. Get that heart rate up, let's go. Legs are tired, this should be a struggle. Come on, come on, stay with me. You got it, let's go. Stay, 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 five, four, three, two regular plie squats by themselves. Down and up, breathe, nice job. Come on, we don't repeat this, get in it, let's go. Keep that chest up, drop those hips. Woo! Plie jacks, let's do this thing. Round two, coming at ya. Get low in those legs, embrace the burn. That's what sculpt's all about, that muscle burn. Come on. We dig deep into those stabilizing groups. Core's braced. You got it, Jennifer and Katie, come on. Stay with it, Joe. Jumping jacks on deck, Heather, come on. Woo! Stay with it, Cindy. Get ready for a big push, Whitney. Ah. How are those legs feeling, Stacy? Come on, come on. All right, Lindsay. Stay with it. You're almost there. Five, four. Move your body. Let's go. All in, full out. Come on. One and one only. We don't do this again. Everything you got right now, come on. Woo! We finish with those create jacks. 10 of them, let's go. 10, nine, eight, seven, come on. Six, five, get low. Three, two, done. Woo! Oh, I hope your legs are dead. <laughs> awesome job. Awesome, awesome job. Ah, grab some water, please. All right, we made it to our final circuit. We have two more songs. Whew. Right now you're breathing and recovering. <laughs> oh, isn't it so, so much fun? <laughs> we have abs, right side and left side. Uh, you still have time, you're in your recovery. I want you to be fully recovered. Back to our Pilates focus. So let the heart rate come back down. Let the breath recover. Breathe. Ooh. Yeah, we only have two songs left. We have about 30 seconds left in this recovery. I'm actually gonna cut this song short. It's three minutes. So I'm just gonna skip it. We're gonna go into our final two songs. One song. Actually, I'm lying because I forgot. Never mind. The last song is only two minutes. I need a minute of it. So this first song is gonna take us into uh, the next song in the effort. So everything we've done so far has been divided by the music. We're gonna keep working seamlessly in these next two songs. And then halfway through time-wise, we're gonna subside. I forgot I changed the effort. So we are actually going to start on one side. So go ahead and meet me there. We're coming all the way down with this bottom arm extended out at an angle. So if you're laying on a Pilates mat or a yoga mat, 
This bottom arm is like towards the top corner instead of straight out in front of you. Top arm reaches overhead. Zip those inner thighs together as if you only have one leg. And then we're gonna come up onto the forearm. We come onto that outside hip. We reach for the ankles. As we lower down, everything squares back up. We come onto the outside hip. So we rotate onto the glute, we reach, and then we rotate back onto the hip as we lower. Rotate onto the glute, reach, and then lower back down. So we have this side body crunch, focusing on the oblique. Press through that forearm to lift. Find that height. And if straight legs is too much, no worry, babe. You can bend the knees and reach for the ankle, and then kick it back in. But the movement's the same. We still roll back onto that glute, and then we roll onto that hip and move forward. Chest faces the sky, chest faces forward, chest faces forward. So bent legs or straight legs, you choose what works better for you. Stay with it, you got this. Just keep those legs together, whether it's bent or straight, zip them together as if you only have one leg. We're gonna hold it at the top and pull three. So if we're straight legs, we're holding, we reach, reach, reach. If it's bent, the same thing, we reach, reach, reach to the ankle. So either way, bent or straight, we're pulse reaching, reaching, reaching. You got it. Five, four, three. Roll onto your back, keep your legs up. Fingertips come behind the head. Scissors, so we lower one leg and then we switch. So they kind of pass each other like that seesaw motion. Right dab in the middle. So ground your low back into the earth. So we're really strong. We're focusing on your transverse abdominals here, those lower ab muscles. So tilt your hips towards the ribs, ground that low back. Try to get whatever leg is on top, above that hip, above that belly button. The other leg is extended out, and then we switch it. So scissor motion. If upper body gets distracting or too much, Feel free to lower onto the earth and take those hands beneath your sit bones, but that feels more comfortable for you. I want you to target the lower abs. Option to add the upper abs by holding your crunch, but if that doesn't suit you or feel good, just totally ditch it and focus on those low abs. You got it. We're gonna take this into a straight leg bicycle. So if you had the hands under the hips, bring them back behind the ears. We're gonna take right hand to the outside of that left leg, and then we switch reach. So just like a bicycle, but the legs are straight and the arms are straight. As we cross the body, we just keep that scissor pattern. Keep that low back grounded. Nice job, hello family, stay with it. Stay with it, stay with it, breathe, breathe, breathe. 15 seconds, you're almost there. Ten seconds, you're almost there. Final three, two, and release. We're gonna switch sides. We do that same thing on the other side. And remember the effort takes us into the next song. So let me just my microphone here. Make sure this bottom arm is towards that top corner. It's not directly out in front of you. Top arm reaches overhead. Make sure you're on the opposite side. Don't do the same side twice. We press that forearm. We up and lift. Whether it be straight leg or bent, we reach to those ankles. So we zip those legs together. We roll back onto that glute. And then we roll back onto the hip. Nice job. Stay with it. Breathe. Exhale as you contract. Inhale as you extend. Digging deep into those ab muscles. Nice job, you got it. So remember, it's gonna take us in the next song. Don't stop just because the music stops. Stay with it, stay with it. Final two minutes of class, keep going. We had that up and reach in just a second. Final three. Final two. Hold it up, we pulse, pulse, pulse. 15, 13, you got it, 11, nine, seven, five, four, three. Lower down, roll onto your back. 
bent leg instead of straight, we alternate kick out. So they still pass each other like a seesaw, but we're just kicking them out. Bent leg instead of straight, fingertips behind the ears, low back is grounded. This is your finisher, this is it. Stay with it, come on. You literally have uh, one minute left in class. Stay with it, come on. Stay, stay, stay for five, three. We finish with those bicycles. Bent leg instead of straight, cross the body, let's go. Make sure that um, upper body stays off the floor. We're just walking shoulder blade to shoulder blade. Big cross body, use those obliques. Keep kicking those legs out, low abs, engage. Breathe. This is your finisher, stay with it. Get in it, let's go. Stay with it. You have 30 seconds left, come on. This is it. Three, two foot, drop the heels, we crunch to finish. Upper abs this time, let's finish strong. You have 10, nine, eight, come on, seven, six, five, four, almost there, three, two, last one, last one, and lower down, really, nice job. Arms overhead, legs extend straight out, pop that rib cage open, small micro back bend, stretch out that front body. Beautiful job today. Woo. Class flew by, but you did so much. <laughs> you did so much. Be proud of everything you accomplished. You did upper body, lower body, core, a little bit of cardio. Awesome, awesome job. Right now, just breathe. Pull the arms in, pull the right knee in, flush that low back onto the earth. Nice job. Keep your left leg long. Soften to the shoulders. And then kick that right leg out, pull the left knee in. You did frontal plane, posterior, side body. You did everything. You so proud. Uh, release. Go ahead and roll all the way over back onto your belly. Hands under the chest. Lift yourself up into a big cobra. Stretch out your core. Not to mention the four-minute tabletop seat. <laughs> Sit those hips back all the way. Child pose. Leave your arms really long and stretch the upper body. And then pull yourself back to the tabletop. Gently tuck those toes under, lift your sit bones tight or down dog if we're a yogi. Keep driving the chest back towards the thighs. Take a nice deep breath, inhale, and as you exhale, gently walk the hands back towards the feet. Stay in this gentle forward fold, keep stretching that posterior chain. And then bend those knees, roll it all the way up, root to rise. Beautiful job today, Pellwell family. Thank you so much for joining me for Pellwell School. Uh, so until tomorrow, Pellwell family, be well.